Now, y'all know I'm always on the hunt for new decks. I mean, always. So, the other day, I was online and I saw this one. Let me move this. How's that? Perfect. I saw this one. It's called the Golden Light Oracle. And I had never heard of it, never saw it, never, nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. And I was like, hmm, this looks promising. So I am going to do the introduction and then I'm going to show you each and every card. And we're going to pull one card and read from the guidebook. So you can decide if this is a deck that you want. Um, I have not seen any of the cards except for the first three or so that I saw when I initially requested this deck. This is a gift from the creator for the purposes of doing an honest review. So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. My name is Queen Auset Haru and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to anybody and everybody who might like it too. Remember to drop us a positive comment in the comment section and... If you would like to get a reading done, please email me or hit me up on social media. And the link to purchase this deck will be at the very top underneath this video. All right, let's free the Golden Light Oracle from its plastic. Let's just see. All right, we got it out. All right, so first things first, there is an awesome box nice sturdy box whoa don't drop it <laughs> pretty right artwork looks good so far here's our back you can feel free to take a screenshot or pause we have 44 cards here finger holes on the sides oh oops <laughs> annie l reed um i'm butterfingers let's get this out the box i am butterfingers today all right here is the inside of the box very cool let's open it further that's the other inside of the box uh we got a good god book here people nice huh very nice uh fully illustrated meanings blockage reversed divination okay so you can do reversals with this deck it has an affirmation and everything so these are awesome full color pictures uh tells you how to use the cards in the front got us some layouts to do some spreads okay awesome let's take a look at it it has plastic on it, so I'm going to take off the plastic that is holding it together and cut it. And then we're going to take a look at the first card. Now, hmm, interesting. The card stock is a little glossy. I think they call that linen finish, if I'm not mistaken. It is a little glossy. It feels nice, though. Uh, let's see the backs. Ooh, the same pretty um, design that was on the box, if I'm not mistaken, or very similar to it. Beautiful. Let's put it here. Uh, let's pull it forward there. Let's get a standard size tarot card and figure out its size. It is bigger and longer than a standard tarot card, which is normal for an Oracle deck. We're going to put it right here. We have to tilt this. We're not going to be able to look at these straight on because of the glare from the camera. So if you're somebody who's going to be showing these or using these, remember the glare. All right, cool. Uh, let's see the card stock. A little thin, but not bad at all. Should be great for shuffling. The thing about the thicker cards is they are a, they're a bear to shuffle. So even though some people prefer the thicker card stock, I never do. Um, this is this is perfect for me. Otherwise, you have the killer time trying to shuffle. If it's too, too thin or too, too thick, it's not good. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
different artwork than some of the styles I've seen today, but it's beautiful. Intricate too. I like the use of uh, tassels and colors and her braid is gorgeous. And I love the diversity going on right out the gate. We got a woman of color um, along with her friends. So that's awesome. Beautiful. Be silent. Very spiritual looking cards. This deck in particular, I feel like, um, will really go well. Because there's a lot of feminine energy here. I haven't seen any guys yet. We're getting ready to see. But I think there's a lot of powerful feminine energy here that would be great. I have a lot of decks that really celebrate that energy. So I could pair it with a number of decks. I love her. We have an elder. I love it. Don't forget the elders. Very diverse out the gate. Different body types. Uh, different cultures. Uh, different hairstyles. I love that ponytail. Another one of those ponytails. I like that braid. She must like that braid because she has two young ladies with that braid. I like that. But yeah, I'm, I'm really feeling the different... Um, Looks like there's some cultural diversity, some age diversity. Definitely feeling that vibe. I like the candles that are used here. Beautiful choice. I like how busy the card is without being overly busy, you know. Because the eyes, you know, your eyes wander as you're looking at the card, but they go right to that center. Oh, another elder. So we got two elders so far. Awesome. I love it when they put elders in the cards. I really do. Because I have so many decks where it's all young people. And I don't mind young people. I love young people. But I'm like, hello. Add some more people. Great diversity. Beautiful depiction. I want to see some older people. Some fat people. Some tall people. Some short people. Now, I don't see a lot of bigger body sizes here um you do see different sizes though but they're not like that many so far that are really large there we go love her hair i used to wear my hair like that i love braids and she's learning she's studying looks like she has her own oracle decks <laughs> she's probably doing a reading and using the guidebook like i always tell you guys use the guidebooks beautiful i love her red hair she appears to be swimming so i guess she's underwater floating maybe oh she wants to manifest a family oh okay okay i'm with that i love this i love her afro i love the plants around her i love that i love her outfit i love the meditation these are great I give these a 10 out of 10. I like the card stock a lot. I love the pictures. The art is so cute. I think they're functional too. These are going to be great for a daily pull. But they're also going to be great to pair with other decks. Um, I do see some men. But I mostly do see women here. Like in her manifestation there was a man. But he's not you know, a real guy. He's, he's like a, you know, a manifestation guy. You know, So I saw him. But yeah, it is mostly women, which I love. I have a lot of decks like that. You guys would not believe. And the other thing I just realized is there's no numbers on these. So they're all, it's just the key word. Or the title, I should say, the title of the card. So you can just use the title though like if you don't want to use the guidebook you can use these alone because i mean it's kind of obvious they're telling you to pray so you need to be praying you know connecting with your creator whatever the case is Ooh, prosperity yes one of my favorite vibrations reach And see, because they're not numbered, and I didn't even realize that. I didn't realize they were a number. 
I'm sitting there thinking, how am I going to know when I get back to the first card? <laughs> oh, I remember it. That's how. Yeah, I remember what it looks like. Okay, here we go. The dragon. I love her dragon. Oh, awesome. Yeah, these are, these are, whew, these are great. These are great. Like I said, 10 out of 10. These are really great. I do want to see some bigger people. Like if they were going to, like, let's say they were going to revise it. I would add in three or four people that were kind of chubby. <laughs> That's the only thing I would do, you know, to change it. That's it. Maybe some more diversity as far as like, um, uh, I would add three or four chubby women. Um, I would... That's probably about it. <laughs> That's it. Because we have the age. We have the hair textures. We have the different cultures. We have the diversity. We have the sharing. We have all of that. So that's the only thing I don't see here. Because they're different sizes. Because some women are taller. Some women are shorter as we're getting ready to see. But they're, as far as body types are concerned, they all tend to be small to medium. So I would just like to see a few larger types like these women here, one is clearly much taller than the other one. So you do got some of that. These women have more of an athletic physique than some of the other ones have. So yeah, you definitely see that vibration. Love that. We got some these these are these ladies are a little more robust. So you do see a little variation. I just wanted to see, you know, look that like I said, three maybe Three women that look like her <laughs> would have been on point for me. But it doesn't take away from the beauty of the deck. Um, it doesn't take away from the diversity of the deck. It doesn't take away from any of that. It just That's something that if I was going to, if they said to me, hey, what should we add to the next edition? I'll be like, eh, add three or four chubby ladies and it's perfect. That's it. Because I love this. I, I love this. T I mean, like, I am, I'm definitely going to use this. This is going to go in my rotation. Look at them. I love that. Okay, so that is the last one. Union. Awesome sauce. All right, so now we're going to get our guidebook. And because that's Union, we're going to look it up. Let me see if they're in alphabetical order. T, U. Yeah, they, and they are in alphabetical order. So there's no number, so you have to go by the alphabet. And this one says Union. An act or instance of uniting or joining two or more things into one. Oh, well, so in this one, you might be having a bond with someone, a connection, a love. Uh, they have a lot of key me. I'm going to read you all the meanings. Number one, bond, connection, empathy, honesty, intimacy, love, open communication, partnership, relationship, sibling, soulmate, tantric sex, uh, telepathic, touch, transparent, trust, and twin flame. If you get it reversed, it means bliss, dreamy, fantasy, honeymoon phase, lovers, memory, peace, and sex. Blockage. If you get it in the blockage position, you have an idealized notion of relationships. No one else will complete you nor be responsible for your emotional well-being. Your happiness and identity cannot be reliant upon your interactions with others. If they are... You will become desperate to be in a relationship and you'll find yourself in union with people not for who they are but for what they can give you oh wow if you don't allow yourself to give and receive the love and attention you desire on your own you will never be able to maintain a long-standing harmonious union so this is somebody who really needs to focus more on self-love if it comes up in the blockage divination position you will enter into a spiritual partnership where each member will trigger healing and growth within each other that will open your minds and hearts to better understand, receive, and give love. Mm -hmm. Reverse position. Someone wants to be intimate and is thinking romantically about you. If you desire, you can soon surrender yourself to the power of love. Action position. Be vulnerable. Affirmations. I am lovable. I enter into loving relationships. This is beautiful. Let me show you a picture of the creator. That's her right there. That is her website. 
this is the illustrator Cindy and magic and medium says other books in case you would like to check out some more of their work there's the Slavic Oracle right here so I'm really feeling it I think it's beautiful um it gives a lot of great information um there's a lot to read um and it asks you, it tells you here when to read which position verb blockage divination reversed or action so they explain let me see the first other part of this yeah 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 that's how to use the cards then there's our layout i mentioned it the guiding light spread i think is beautiful so these cards are really beautiful the guidebook is awesome it's not small and dinky it gives lots of information and the customer service from this particular um uh company is extremely extremely uh well uh well done well thought out when i came to them about you know this deck um and i told you guys this deck was a, a gift from them our interaction was awesome and it was quick too they sent this out to me very quickly so i really love it i love i love the diversity i love the outfits i love it it's awesome i strongly suggest that you get this deck um there are guys these two look like guys to me i'm not sure they could also be you know more masculine presenting women which is cool too because anybody could see themselves here um these guys look like guys too so attracting these two guys but I don't know if they're like just energies because of the way they're painted. But still, they're, they seem to be maybe guys. Maybe not. Because that looks like Brynn of Tarn from Game of Thrones. So I'm not really sure. But still, you know, you got that energy. I like when you really can't tell though. Because it can be open to women who love women or women who love men. D, all of the above, you know. So this is an awesome deck. I strongly suggest it for anybody who's looking for a great oracle um, to go in addition to their other decks or for somebody who's looking for something for an awesome daily pull. Okay, so check out underneath this video. Um, you're going to find where you can purchase this if you would like to and any other information that's important. I will put in the same section directly under this deck. And you guys, you come back soon because I have a lot more to say. See you later.